Let's see how we can install the latest version of PyCharm on Windows 11 as of what is the date today? 11th September 2023. So first go to Google and search for PyCharm download community. We are downloading the community edition as this is the free one. So click on this link from jetbrains.com download PyCharm and don't download this 30 day free trial because this is the professional one we need to download the community one that is free all right so if you scroll down here you will see the community edition click on download and your PyCharm download is started once the download is complete click on open file or just double click on the file to open it from your downloads folder and your setup wizard will start click on next now you get the option to select the folder where you will install PyCharm this is the default one you can change it to anywhere you like by clicking on this browse button now click next and you don't need to do anything if you click on this all the associated python files will be opened in PyCharm when you double click on them so I'll not do this right now and just click next again click install and your install will start now you can click on this and finish this to directly open PyCharm but I'll not take this I will open it from our start menu so finish this and now your PyCharm installation is complete now you can press windows and type PyCharm and open it and let's create a python file and say hello world confirm this click continue and now let's create a new project and you can choose the folder where you want to create the project now if you don't have python installed you will need to install python check the first link in the description that will show you how to install python and then you can choose anywhere you want to create a project and just click create as you can see a default file is already inside the new project a virtual environment is created and now you can just click on this play button to run this and as you can see hi pycharm is printed from this main function if you have any questions let me know in the comments below